get a taste of what market used to be like every Wednesday of my youth and for generations before that to all the people who went in there seven miles to the town on market day, seeing almost nobody on the other days of the week. This was originally the market square. This is where the cattle market was held. In the old days in the morning they put up the pens for hurdles which contained the calves and the sheep and the pigs and they had posts all around the outside to which the cattle were tied. Nowadays this is what you might call the local junk market, but it still represents the cottage life of the district. Things would come in and out of the houses of people still living in the old small farmer and small hole away because it's the life of the new forest which is so to speak preserved in its old form by the fact that it's a royal forest and ever developed as the rest of the country has, that keeps this uh, population the way it was and keeps this market with a feeling that markets always used to have when I was young. Nowadays a cat a market, if you go to one of the big markets on the edge of one of the big towns in the country, there's a matter of farmers selling large numbers of cattle to wholesale butchers who are going to pass them on wholesale traders, but here you'll find everything dressmaker's dummy, an adjustable one. Look at that. My golly, you'd make some money if you do that for real women. And in the yard behind what was the old market square is what is now the more farming part of the market. But here the products of the ordinary craftsmen come to men who work in the in the woods who, and, and cut the stakes. The builder who's got a few blocks left over from having built a shed for somebody, the timber which probably fell off the back of some lorry, and the small stock, the, the pet lambs that uh, got left over from a ewe who lived in Amelie, and the billy kid, and the calves from the milk cows, the husk cows which calved in the last few days and uh, whose milk is needed for the home, and the uh, chickens that come out of the holdings. Here you find an odd pair of muscovy duck, ducks, like that, a curious creature which is halfway between the duck and the goose. You find cattle with beautiful, ca uh, you find cockerels with beautiful capes of feathers which the trout fishermen will buy just to get their, their capes, as they call them order to tie flies with you can find the leftover hens from the laying pens or due for the pot and then when the selling starts everybody knows everybody and everybody keeps their eye on everybody and knowing who's really busy and who's trying to get up is and stuff these calves will be bought by a lady in a cottage who likes to rear a few calves and then send them back to market a little later as young heifers and those pet lambs have been bought probably by some people who have fallen for pets and Lord help them because there's nothing so tiresome as a pet lamb who would attach itself to the human beings instead of uh, to its mother as its last and if you aren't careful it'd be very very difficult to prevent it following the children upstairs Whatever you want to make in the way of a shed or whatever you want to mend, you have a chance of finding the timber here. And here you can get really fresh eggs and really fresh chickens because these come out of little holdings. The salt that used to be common in England for getting smaller and smaller little holdings where the, the eggs were picked up in the last two or three days at the most and the cream was uh, uh, separated from the milk of single house cow and an odd few duck eggs crop around the hen's house and everybody comes in with black currant wine and the drinks they make at home and the rabbiters bring the rabbits in from a, la a night's long knitting or an afternoon's ferreting. And this lady, this little old lady, a one house cow out of the forest every week comes in with the homemade butter she's just made in a little barrel churn that my grandmother used to use. And here among the poultry, one of the surprises you always find in the market is a pair of nun pigeons. Very rare breed, a pretty fancy breed that people used to keep around the stable yards of old country houses. 
long time since I saw one of those. And goodness knows what I'll find in the market next week. Because so many things come from so many small people in so many places. These are the big white food rabbits. Thank you. 